welcome to another edition of Silent Saturday on Broken Jai. This is all things bright and beautiful again. Um, I've just recorded a video and talked for so long and then realised that I've cut my head off and it was just my mouth that was talking so I've just had to do this again. Hopefully my battery won't run out because uh, I've got quite a lot to do today. Um, this Saturday I had some very very good savings. I visited Asda again as I usually do when I finish work and uh, then I visited Superdrug. So let's get cracking on with what I've saved. Um, I just grab these. Oh. I, uh, I visited the George makeup section again and picked up three nail varnishes which are Gel Pro. Uh, gel Pro basically means that um, when you get gel nails done at the salon they come up with quite a high shine so this is meant to mimic you having your nails done at a salon so I've got three for five pounds which is a really good saving um, I've got deep purple very really nice purple colour uh, nectarine which is a light coral colour and rose which is like a brighter corally pink colour um, I do enjoy coral colours I mean reminds me of the summer and it was made into water mix you know, I like to keep things bright, so as you can tell. <laughs> so, uh, three for five pound, really, really good saving. Uh, really enjoyed having a look around there and getting some more stuff. Hopefully I can pick up some more colours, because I've heard that the, um, the plum colour is really nice as well from a blog that I read earlier today. So hopefully they'll have some more in stock. Um, I painted my nails with the rose colour on Friday night. Um, I am impressed. It's just that... Uh, when it dried, it was kind of not like a shiny colour, it not matte either, it was like halfway in between. So I put a top coat on. Uh, I woke up the next morning and my nails were smudged up. <laughs> so I think it was because I put too many coats on to be fair and, you know, I obviously leaned on my hand in my sleep and smudged everywhere. And um, there was a little issue with at the sides of my nail and it was bubbling a bit. So I'm going to give it another try. Uh, see how it turns out next time. Hopefully not to put too many coats on this one so it looks like I've got like netting print fingers. So so that was the first saving. Three for five pounds. That's a five we're already spent. Um, then I went into Superdrug and I've been basically looking for a new facial cleanser and um, because I've got combination skin um, my forehead and about here gets really really greasy really quick I don't think it helps when I work in a factory as well and I'm, I get quite warm through the day and the substances that we use it can get on your skin and in your skin so I've been looking for uh, the perfect facial cleanser really and I've, uh, I've heard a lot about tea tree oil um, I've heard about its properties it's like a natural antibacterial solution and it can calm you know, redness of the skin and everything like that. So I went and bought a tea tree oil and peppermint oil farming face wash, which is Superdrug's own brand. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a farming facial wash. So if I just take the lid off, kind of foams out, and then you like apply it to your skin, it's really creamy. Uh, those are tea for four pound. Um, I, I was really impressed when I used it this morning because obviously I slathered it all over my face and. Um, uh, instantly the peppermint oil just hit me like I could smell it, I could feel it tingling on my skin and really cool my face there and really refreshing for your face so quite nice. Um, let's just read what it says on the back about it. Uh, light and creamy, this foaming facial wash with natural tea tree and peppermint oils will help promote a clearer spot free complexion and leave your skin feeling clean, smooth and refreshed. Uh, as I said, like, you know, tea tree oil, it, it, it originates from Australia. Um, again, it's a natural antibacterial agent known for its antiseptic healing properties. Uh, peppermint oil is renowned for its therapeutic effect on skin disorders and for its cooling sensation. So, I'm really pleased with that. I'll, uh, I'll use it for the next week and I'll hopefully get back to you with uh, the results of it. You know, because um, just lately, I mean, I've with my oiliness, I don't really get spots on my forehead anymore. I've got quite a few spots when I was a teenager, but now, um, you know, I usually get the odd spot like on my cheek, on my chin, on my lip, like really obvious places, and the really red, angry spots as well. And you know, sometimes I can't get rid of them for two weeks, so you know, hopefully, this will work 
hopefully no more spots because I want to suffer from adult acne anyway. Um, so I was looking at that and I found two uh, tea tree oil peel off masks. Now, um, when I was about 15 uh, I had ordered a tube of peel off mask from the Ivan which was tea tree oil and I really loved it and they haven't had it back since. Um, all I did was just smooth it over your face, you wait for it to dry, you peel it off, it takes dirt, everything with it that's on your skin. Also good for getting rid of the blackheads on your nose as well because it pulls them out. Um, so yeah, these are 89p each so I thought I'd get two, give myself a little pamper tonight and maybe in the week when I've had an odd day at work. So yeah, um, you just leave it on until it dries, peel it off and then wash your face with warm water to get rid of any excess like peel. Because I mean you don't want to look great uh, looking like you're peeling on your face. So yeah, uh, really good bargains this week. I spent £9 all together, so quite pleased with that. Um, yesterday I went to my hometown of Wensbury with my two really good friends, Rachel and Emily. We, uh, we went for a photography day. I uh, took my camera up to the really old parts of Wensbury, up to the churches, round like uh, the old Victorian parts, which is really nice. Really nice place, Wensbury. I do miss it a lot. And, um, you know, I'm going to post a photo set up about that on the blog later because I, I do like to show off my photos and see what other people think of them. And I also went charity shopping, <laughs> which was really good. I was a bit reluctant at first because I, I usually think that when you go to a charity shop, it's like, you know, it is all miss, you not, you can find one thing that's really nice and they haven't got your size or, you know, you can spot some at one week and you go back the next week and somebody's already had it, so, but uh, I had some really good bargains, I bought these boots, which were £2, which I was amazed at, and this skirt as well, if you can see, really nice, quite all to me, it's got an underskirt with it as well, so, really, really happy about that, I've got a dress as well. Uh, which is like a kind of like a Japanese wrap dress, but it's like um, like a burnt yellow roof. That makes sense with all flowers over it. So yeah, really nice for the autumn. I think you know keep keep your colours bright for the autumn. You know it can match the uh, the leaves and everything like that. So really really happy with what I've bought this week, and I'll obviously get a charity shop blog up later on as well uh, after I've been to mum and dad's for dinner. <laughs> So I'm, I'm quite hungry. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's Ava Saturday. Hopefully you can find some bargains. Maybe get back to me about your bargains in the comment box. Let me know what I've done. And uh, basically that's it really. So I'm going to get cracking on with uploading this. And uploading another blog before the other half gets back and we go to my parents. So have a great Sunday. Enjoy yourselves. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.